Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we have got this right triangle ABC along with this altitude 12. And moreover, we are going to find the value of these sides ABC such that A plus B plus C equal to 60. And moreover, A is less than B. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. Here's our very first step. Let's focus on this triangle BDC. And we know that this angle is 90 degree. Let me go ahead and call this angle beta. And this angle I'm going to call alpha. And we know that the sum of the angles of any triangle is 180 degrees and this is 90 so that means alpha and beta are going to be complementary angles and here's the definition of a complementary angles two angles are complementary if they add up to 90 degrees now let's focus on the other triangle ACB and if we look at this ACB this angle C this one the whole thing is 90 degrees and this is alpha and we know that alpha and beta are complementary angle so this angle has got to be beta and moreover this one is 90 degrees so that means this angle has got to be alpha because alpha and beta are complementary angles so therefore we conclude that these two triangles the triangle BDC and triangle ACB are similar triangles according to angle 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 theorem and here's the definition of an angle 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 theorem if in two triangles corresponding angles are equal then the triangles are said to be similar and here's our next step. We know that these two triangles are similar, so we can set their sides as proportion. So I can write this side A over 12 equals to this side C over B. Now let's do the cross multiplication. So we can write this AB equal to 12 c and i'm going to call this equation one now let's focus on this triangle acb and we know this is a right triangle therefore we are going to use the pythagorean theorem and here's our pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square in our case the longest leg is already given to us as c and the other side is A and this side is B. So therefore our equation turns out to be A square plus B square equal to C square and I am going to call this equation number 2. And moreover this has been given to us A plus B plus C equal to 60 this equation which I have just copied down over here and I am going to call this equation number three now as you can see we got these three simultaneous equations and we are going to solve for a b and c and here's our next step let's focus on this equation number three and here's our equation number three and what we are going to do is i'm going to move this c on the right hand side so this equation is going to become a plus b equal to 60 minus c now let me go ahead and take the square on both sides take the square power 2 on this side and power 2 on this side and now we are going to expand these binomials by using these two formulas as you can see over here so let's go ahead and expand this thing that's going to become a square plus b square plus 2ab equal to on this side is going to become 3600 minus 120 c plus c square but we know on this one a square plus b square 
is same as c square so I am going to replace that one as this simply a plus b square is going to be replaced by c square and moreover this a b I am going to replace a b by 12 c so I can write this one as plus 2 times 12 c equal to 3600 minus 120 c plus c square and now we can see that this c square on the left hand side and c square on the right hand side they cancel each other out so we ended up with 2 times 12 is 24 c equal to 3600 minus 100 and 20 c let's move this negative 120 c on the other side so that is going to give us 24 c plus 120 c equal to 3600 so that means our c value is going to be simply 25 so we figured out our c value as 25 now we're going to see our equation number one becomes and here is our equation number one and we can see this c i'm going to replace c by 25 so this could be written as a times b equal to 12 times 25 so that means a b turns out to be 300 and now let's focus on this equation number three and here is our equation number three a plus b plus c equal to 60 and we know that c is 25 so i'm going to replace over here c by 25 so this could be written as a plus b plus 25 equal to 60 let's move 25 on the other side so that's going to become a plus b equal to 60 minus 25 so that means a plus b turns out to be 35 or simply b is going to become 35 minus a now let's substitute this b value over here in this one over here so this is going to go over here so therefore we got a times 35 minus a equal to 300 now let's go ahead and distribute this one over here so that's going to be 35 a minus a square equal to 300 or we can write as a square minus 35 a plus 300 equal to zero and now this is a quadratic equation and we are going to solve by factoring because that's the easiest way so the possible factors is going to be a minus 15 times a minus 20 equal to zero so let's split that one separate them so a minus 15 equal to zero or a minus 20 equal to zero so thus we have a two solutions a equals to 15 and the other one is a equals to 20. now let's pick this a equals to 20 value and i'm going to replace a by 20 over here so b turns out to be 35 minus 20 means b equal to 15 and our here a value is 20 this contradicts our condition because a must be less than b so therefore we are going to reject a equals to 20 value and we are going to accept a equals to 15 now let's replace this a value by 15 so b turns out to be 35 minus 15 means b equals to 20 value thus our a value turns out to be 15 b is 20 c 25 thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye